You like the new setup? I think I'm going to change things a little bit. Um, let's start off by having a story time. Back in 2005 or 2006, um, well, I started my business in 2005 and um, had an old box truck that I was using as a work truck. And that was actually uh, a truck that I was going to sell to someone else. If they would have bought the truck, I would have never started my business. So, And then that truck was acting up, so I went over to Beach Boulevard Automotive, and I bought this old Dodge van. Uh, I think I paid like four or five grand for it. So, And uh, it was just a you know, nice average van, and I drove it around for a while. had a couple of issues here and there, and... So, and, uh, but it was reliable transportation. And then, I think about seven, eight months down the road, I was sitting there driving the van, and I saw this little ice cream truck looking truck. I mean, the ones that, you know, the ones that I sold already. And uh, so I followed the ice cream truck on a wrecker to the car dealership where they sold it, and I went and bought the ice cream truck. So and that became my new work truck. So the Dodge van just kind of sat around for a while and um, didn't really, you know, grocery getting little things like that. I said, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna customize it and make a nice little street van out of it. So I bought these sets of rims and tires, and they were um, some 17s with some Toyo proxies, really clean tires and rims. And we put them on, uh, put them on the truck, and that you know when you turn it rubs. So. I talked talk to a friend of mine and says, hey, we could put some spaces on it and jack it up. I said, hey, let's do that. So he put the spaces on, and when he got done, it was lifted a little higher than what I was expecting. So I was like, what the hell? So I was driving it around, and the tires looked a little small for the truck. So then I talked to this other, other guy, Eddie, and um, he opened up a new shop and everything. I was like, hey, can we... Uh, you know lift it up just a little bit more and put some bigger tires on it and kind of make it look really cool and we talked about some things threw around some numbers and everything and um yeah a little while later it was lifted up like 12 inches and sitting on 42s so this is just a little bump you know so then it became a little bit of a famous truck i mean everybody oh my god this is so cool this is so cool and it was four wheel drive and everything else Took about a year to do, but it, you know, it's one of his little side projects. And um, unfortunately, the business shut down not too too long after that. Uh, nothing they did wrong. It just, I think, it was just poor management or something. But so I'd go up to the, you know, the Saturday night cruise ins, and at the same time, I also had a little Porsche race car. I had a, um, well, actually, I had a couple. Of, I had a Porsche 924, Porsche 944, and two Porsche 914s. Uh, I had a um, Bonneville SSC, and what else did I have at the time? I had another car too, and um, I had the van, and then I had the ice cream truck. Oh, I also had a uh, a bad four x four truck called Here Kitty Kitty. So, but anyways, um, I you know I'd go up there in a the car, and then say ah this isn't really. So I'd come back in the van, and you know I'd just take little breaks and drive different vehicles up there, and just kind of show off. So, and then, you know, just one day, having drove the van in a while, and um, a friend of mine, Josh, came up and says, hey, well, let me buy it. Because he had a, a sign company, and he and he, he was going to wrap it and use it as a sign thing. He bought it. I think I sold it to him for like 12 grand. And uh, he had it for about five or six years. And um, one day I saw him, and he was actually working right up the street, across the street, putting in a sign for the the one mechanic that I don't talk to anymore and uh, but anyways he uh, uh, he came and said hey you want to buy the van back I was like sure so he gave me a price and I went ahead and bought it and you know and it, it got a little bit damn like the 4x4 no longer worked in it and uh, the roof they were sitting on top of the roof and it crushed the roof in the windshield was busted you know didn't it wasn't quite as good as I sold it to him so got it back and um Went ahead and started fixing everything. Got a roll cage, lifted up a little bit more with 
you know it only went from 12 inches to 23 inches of lift not not a lot just a little bit and uh proceeded to put 46s which are actually a little small but uh we didn't have enough room to go to 52s so we had to go with the 26s with plenty of turning clearance they don't rub nothing got plenty of clearance so but yeah i got um you know and drove it around for a couple of years after that and and every single time I drive it, I mean, it's a truck that I have loved pretty much since the day I bought it. You know, I've, I've bought vans and just absolutely hated them, like the Soul Stealer, that uh, ProMaster. You know, I've had a couple of Chevys that I bought that, you know, just get a bad vibe. And, and, and every Ford that I bought, I've had a bad vibe in a Ford van. Um, they just, they don't click with me. But this is one of, uh, one of my most favorite vans. So, and I'm going to turn this around for a second. Yep, there it is sitting right there. And uh, today I'm saying goodbye to it. I put it on last night on Facebook. A min um, immense amount of messages. Everybody was messaging me saying, you know, hey, when can we meet? Hey, when this? And one guy called me up first thing. He says, hey, you know, I can meet you tomorrow. And I says, I, unfortunately, I'm at the flea market. So as soon as I get done, I'll let you know I'm leaving. You can meet me where the van's at. So he came over. Now, as of right now, there's a fuel issue. Uh, there's some rust on it. There's, you know, it is not running and driving. So uh, I don't know if it's a big fuel issue, if it's a small fuel issue. I don't know. But as of right now, it's not running. Like, I was able to turn it over. It wouldn't crank up, you know. I told him everything that I knew that was right with it. I told him everything I knew was wrong with it. He, we went over the whole entire vehicle. I showed him where the weld points, the pinch points. I showed him everything that I knew. He said, I'll take it. So this is basically a goodbye video to the van. Uh, for those who didn't think I was serious about selling my entire life, because that's what I've been doing. Everything that I own, I've been selling. And the good thing is the money for this is going to a good cause. Because I don't owe much money left on my house. And this is going to pay off my house. So as of the 1st of November, I guess. Or, well, I, I, yeah, by the end of October. Because I've already paid this month's bill. Um, I'm going to go up there and pay the entire house off. So i got to talk to my lawyer tomorrow first. But... Uh, this has not been, well, let me back up. So for everybody who, who thinks that I'm not serious about selling this right here, if the ice cream truck didn't do it, this should tell you I'm selling everything. You're next little bastard, but no, uh, <laughs> actually who's next is him. Uh, all I got to do is find the key that's already sold for 600. So um, I just got to either break into it and take the stuff out, which I'll probably end up doing that, or find the key. Or so I still have to get a key so I can turn the wheel to get it loaded on the wrecker. That one runs and drives. It just doesn't go above 35 miles per hour. But yeah, so once this is out of here tomorrow morning, then I'm going to go and get the, um, the uh, what the hell is it? Oh, the Winnie Wagon. And uh, we're going to get that pulled around front, get the Winnie rag Wagon, win God almighty, that's a hard word for me. The Winnie Wagon is going to be gone. It'll probably be sold early next week. So I just got to get it towed around front. So, uh, and I got to move the trailer that's in front of it. So that's going to be a fun little ordeal too. But you know what? I think I might get one of these homeless people. We'll hook a strap to it and they could just steer it. I'm not going to pay to have it towed up front. But yeah, that's going to be, so uh, hopefully by the end of the month, I'll have three more vans going. And that leaves me with three Chevy box trucks and the Unicorn, which you're sitting right there. So, you know what? Being in a swivel chair really helps out with panning. <laughs> anyway. See, even in a, in a heartfelt goodbye, I still all over the place in my comments or conversation. But yeah. I just wanted to make this video just kind of talk about some of the experiences I've had. I did have it on two wheels once. I was uh, up at the um, the Sonic over on Beach Boulevard 
and you have like a uh, a parking lot that's up and then another parking lot that's down about five feet and uh, me and a couple other guys kept driving up the embankment because we had four-wheel drive trucks and I would drive up the embankment and get up there and scare the shit out of people because they weren't expecting people to, cars to come from that way and then I one time I was going down it I kind of went down at an angle and the truck started tipping and I was able to get it back but it was a good three four feet it was on the two wheels on the like these two over here it was like instead of being like this it was like this like yeah instead of being like this it was like that anyways you know what the hell I'm talking about so and then um uh, driving down at the beach, I mean, this stopped, literally stopped traffic. In fact, there's a, somewhere around here, there's a white Durango with purple, uh, undercarriage. Badass truck, not saying nothing about it. It was, he had three times the money that I had in my truck, and his was a real 4x4. Four four. Mine's kind of a, you know, a show truck, not really, you know, but I mean, he, mine's shocking all. It's not even a show truck, it's just shocking all. But he had a legit badass truck. But it was funny because I'd sit there and be, and I was right behind them cruising down First Street. And, uh, I mean, everybody was like, oh, my God, look at that. And they had the, uh, ex a look of, you know, excitement. And then it's kind of hard to explain, but when they saw mine, because, I mean, his was good. And it was lifted. We had the same exact tires. I mean, he had 46s on his, too. But I had, like, almost two feet over his because vans are tall even when they're not lifted. So it just like I've parked so many cars, but it's just it's that was wrong. It, it, anyways, uh, you know the look of excitement looking on their face, and then there was like, oh my God, there's more excitement to be expressed on my face because it was like, hey, that's pretty cool. Holy shit, you know, <laughs> it's like because they would have two two reactions, ones of his, and then see mine, and it was it was just one of them things that just like okay, that's pretty damn cool, and then. Uh, there was this one dude in a yellow Hummer. It's all lifted up and everything else. And, um, and I pulled up next to him at a stoplight. And uh, he looked up at me. I was like, hey, man, your roof's dirty. Oh, my God. You want to talk about a look of disgust? He's like, fuck you, man. <laughs> but, you know. And, oh, and driving through drive. This is just. I mean, I drove through, like, Arby's drive through and you can sit there and, and actually hit the light bulbs, you know. And, um, oh, and at uh, Captain D's, I was sitting there driving through drive through at Captain D's. And you know how you take your fingers and kind of do that? Well, I was doing that on the on the hood or on the, um, the roof of the truck. So when I was down, I was hitting the truck. And when I was up, I was hitting the roof. So it was like roof, truck, roof, truck. So that's how close I was to the roof in um, Captain D's over on Atlantic. So, but, and there's people freaking out when you pull up and drive through, you know, I mean, it's like so many times that they pull over and pull, you know, cause the window's low and I pull up and all they can see is the wheel well. They can't even see me cause I'm a, like above the window looking down in the top glass that's above them, you know, but yeah, I will miss it, but it's a, uh, it's part of a process that, you know, I'm going to do and. If need be, if I ever really, really want to, I mean, I'm the one who built this one. I can have another one built. But to be honest with you, I think I'm done with building vehicles. Right now, I'm, I'm just done with a lot of things. And I just want to kind of get control of my life and with all this stuff sitting around me. I mean, I can't tell you how many times, you know, like if there's a homeless guy and you know, I tell them to, you know, get the fuck out of here or, you know, go away. You can't sleep here, shit like that. You know, the first thing I think about, is he going to come back and stab the tires? Is he going to, you know, vandalize something I own? So, and I know that's not, it's probably not the best way to live your life. But regardless, you know, it just, you worry about things. And right now, I don't want to have to worry. I got enough stuff that I'm thinking about. In fact, I had a... Um, be absolutely beautiful silver and purple mustang and you want to talk about people flipping the hell out i traded it on traded it in on a kia soul i mean this is a full-blown show car you know stereo painted interior i mean it was kick-ass car and but people don't realize is when you have a car with a you know ten thousand dollar paint job and all this kind of stuff on it you know when you go to Walmart, you're like, 
I hope, you know, you have to park all the way in the back of the parking lot and still get that one asshole parks right next to you, you know, and it just, it was unneeded stress. But I can tell you every single time that if I, well, let me back up. Every time I think about having fun in an old vehicle, it was, you know, back when I was driving around my ex-girlfriend's Yugo or... You know, I had an old $300 Dodge Omni that smelled like gasoline every time you drive it. And uh, the Kia sold because it was a cash car and it, you know, I bought it and then sold it back to the dealership and made money. You know, it was just, but just, and, and, you know, another one that I absolutely enjoy driving is not necessarily this van, but every single Chevy van that's been a beater van. You know, it's just old busted vans I enjoy brokenness around me, I guess. Because my thinking is, if it has a dent or a scratch or something like that, who gives a shit? You don't worry about stuff like you worry about brand new stuff. You know, I mean, even when I had the ProMaster, but that the ProMaster was a full-on piece of crap. But, you know, with it being brand new, I didn't want to have anybody get in the truck because I was afraid it was going to scratch it up. I couldn't have anybody get tools in and out, even though it was a work truck, I you know. I still tried to keep it as good as I, and I'm glad I did because, you know, I made $9,000 selling it back to the dealership. So, but this is a goodbye to the monster van. So I don't, I won't have any more videos. Uh, the tow truck driver is coming by tomorrow morning to pick it up. Um, I got to go and find a dash piece that's, I think, in my storage unit. I'm going to get that first thing in the morning. And that's it. But there will be, uh, actually, I don't know if there'll be anything that I'll ever replace this, but, and I'll probably regret it at some point, but not today. I'm paying off my house. Um, it's a good thing. But peace, love, money, I'm out.